Hello, um, my name's Dennis Owens and um, I live in the United Kingdom. And I just want to say just a few words about On Passive. Um, but first of all, probably a um, little bit about myself, so you know I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to sales and marketing. Um, I've, I guess I started in um, sales and marketing when I was about 25, 26, something like that. I'm now um, 88, and so um, I've been around the block a couple of times. I started out in retail, I've done corporate sales, specialty sales, um, real estate, um, which was nice. I sold, although I live in the United Kingdom, I am selling American properties to the Americans in the oil industry in Saudi Arabia. And that was a lot of fun, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, I also had my own company. Um, that wasn't a lot of fun. Um, I worked so hard, in fact, I was working twice as hard as anyone else and earning less money. So um, I got out of that really damn fast. Um, right, now, then I got to a situation where I was about, I don't know, 65 years old and um, you were supposed to retire at that, aren't you? And so I retired. That wasn't much fun. And so I started another little business, um, and that was just a self-employed thing. I only it was only me, um, and in fact, I made more money there than I had for an awful long time. But unfortunately, my wife um, she was suffering from Alzheimer's, and we reached a situation where I couldn't leave home, and so I sold that business as well. And so then, I didn't like retirement. Um, I just didn't. And so I started looking online for something to do. Because um, everyone told me that you could make an awful lot of money online. You can't. Some people might, but I certainly couldn't. Um, and I, God knows I tried. I mean, I joined so many things, so many things. Um, and I just could not make any of it work. Problem I had in the main was that I joined and I got other people to join me. But then, when the whole thing went down the tubes, I lost an awful lot of friends. So next time around, when I found something else which I thought was good, I went back to my friends. Well, they weren't my friends anymore because <laughs> they had lost so much money as well. So I thought, no, that is it. I'm not going to do this anymore. Um, I'm running out of money. Um, don't know how long I'm going to live, but you know, I don't. I want to be able to live my life comfortably to the end of it. Um, so I thought, no, that is it. I'm just not not going to do this anymore. Um, another couple of things came up that looked good. I said, no, no, no. I'm just not going to do it. And then um, a lady called Marion Cannon rang. Well, no, she didn't. She actually texted me and said, Dennis you should have a look at this. Now, I, I got to know Marion over the last couple of years or so, and she's a very nice person, very genuine person. Um, and I looked at it. It was called On Passive, uh, Go Founders On Passive. And I looked at it, and I thought, hmm, this is good, this is very good. I think it's too good. I think it's just too good to be through. And so I dismissed it. And this was round about, I guess, late December, 2018. Um, I went off, had Christmas. We went over my daughters for Christmas. I came back, full of the goodwill towards men and women. And uh, I looked at this again. And the more I looked at it, the more excited I got. And I thought, wow, if this, if this just could be true, it would be fantastic. And not only that, what I have been looking for for ages and ages and ages, and indeed what so many people have been looking for. And so I looked into it a little bit further. I wanted to find out who was behind this. And I came across this name, Ash Mafara, who was the top man. And I read about him. And um, 
a little bit confused about reports I was reading about him, inasmuch as he had been associated com with companies that had gone down the tubes. And not everyone had got kind things to say about Ash. But then I thought, well, <laughs> I've done exactly the same thing. I joined companies which I firmly believed in, and I've encouraged people to join. I've got to look at this further. And so I did. The more I have listened to Ash, the more I have grown to love this man. He is the most sincere person I have ever come across in the position that he is in. He cares, he's absolutely full of heart, and he has made it his mission in life, if you like, um, to make sure that 97% of people who have failed online will finally be successful. On passive is much, much, much bigger than I ever thought it was going to be. And every week I listen and I look at the videos and every week I think, oh my God, this is fantastic. Now, if you're looking at this for the very, very first time, don't wait to learn too much about it. Take it from me, this is the finest opportunity that you will ever, ever come across online. We, it's been being put together for over two years and it is a complete ecosystem that anyone who uses the internet, anyone, will use the tools that all passive are producing for two reasons. One, they're far much better, higher quality and they're years ahead of anything that's out there at the moment. And two, they're cheaper. So who in the right line, particularly in the um, present situation we're in now, where companies are looking to um, save as much money as they possibly can, if they can streamline their business and, and it's going to cost them less to do it, then they're going to do it. And they're certainly going to have a look because they can try it for free before they actually commit themselves. And so really, on passive has got it made. Now, as I was saying, if you're looking at this for the very first time, don't wait too long before you do things because we are coming to the end of the preparation. We're going to do a soft launch, hopefully in the next sort of fortnight or a month, something like that. And then we finally want to launch to the world by the end of 2020. With the coronavirus, it might go over, I don't know. It depends on how things pan out. But we will all got the target of 2020. We want to launch by then. Once we launch, then the position of founder is no longer going to be available. Have a look at it. Learn and get it into your head what the benefits are of being a founder at this moment in time because it is absolutely phenomenal and you will never ever come across a situation like it. I just thank God and Marion Cannon <laughs> that I joined when I did because I'm in a lovely position and I know that I am going to be extremely wealthy and I thank the lucky stars that I joined when I did. Please, for your own sake, take this seriously. Have a good look at it and join. And you are going to be so glad you did. Not just for you, but for your family and your children and your children's children. Because this is here forever and it's going to change the world. If Ash was a British subject, he would get a knighthood for doing what he's doing. As it is, he's not, but hopefully he'll be nominated for a Nobel Prize because he certainly needs it, because he is going to change the world for the better. That's for damn sure. Okay, join us. 
It will be the best thing you ever, ever did. Bye-bye now.